Welcome back to the shop, my friends. Steve here at SKS Props. This is part six in my HD Foam Samurai Armor series. And this video is gonna be what makes or breaks you as a Samurai Armor fabricator. And that's because we're making the Kazuzuri, the waist armor for the Samurai Armor set. Now, it's no more difficult to put together than any of the other armor pieces on here. It's the lacing that took me forever. It's as simplistic as the shoulder pads, but Every single one of these panels consists of five individual armor sections, and there's six of these. Plus, then every single armor section has to then be laced into the chest and the back. This took a while, but I'm glad I did it because in the end, all of this goes together and it all looks amazing. Just like the rest of the armor, these are made out of my HD foam, which you can find over at Blick Art Materials. And because of that, this armor weighs next to nothing. And because of the paint jobs that I've applied to it, it doesn't look like foam, and that is the key. And just like all my other videos, there are free PDF files available for this over on my website that you can download in case you would like to make your own set. So I wanna show you what it takes to put the waist armor together. Let's go ahead and get started. For my waist armor, I decided to go with the five panel set. Starting with part A, I'm gonna transfer and cut that out of some four millimeter foam. All the lace points are marked and now we can cut out parts B, C, D, and E six times. Just like all the other armor panels on this build, strips of 2mm foam are used to outline each armor piece. Part F is going to be an additional detail piece at the bottom of part E. This is traced and cut out of some 2mm foam. Part F and the additional trim is attached to part E using Bob Smith Super Glue. A heat tool is used to make the lace holes and a smooth sanding drum is used to round over all of the edges. Now remember when heating and sanding foam to always wear your respirator. The tinfoil technique is once again used to give these armor pieces their texture. Plasti dip is used to seal and prime all these pieces while Krylon Red Oxide Primer is used as a base. The hand painting process for these panels is the same as all of the other armor sections, so for a more in-depth look, be sure to check out parts 1 through 3. Dirty Down Dark Brown Spray is once again applied to all the pieces to give it a weathered and worn look. And like I've mentioned before, the style and color for these panels is suggested. Feel free to paint them whatever color you'd like. Dirty Down Rust can now be applied to all the gold. I'm once again going to be using the Athletic Lacing from Shoelace Express. To figure out the lacing for these sections, I start by doing a strip right down the middle. This will help me figure out exactly how much lacing I'll need per row. To help the armor panels lay flat, I use some super glue in the middle of each armor section. This will help make it look like the armor is made out of a heavier material. With one section complete as my reference, I can now use that as a guide for all of my other armor panels. So 
So that was an extremely long process of lacing all of the panels together, but I get to follow that up with even more lacing. That's right, I'm super excited. And it's because at this part of the build, I have to attach the panels to the chest and to the back. But before I can do that, I need to figure out exactly how far down these panels need to sit from the chest armor so that I can cut all my laces to fit. I take the lacing template and I transfer that onto the chest piece. Then I can take my heat tool to create the lacing holes. The fumes for this are not good, so be sure to wear your respirator. I had a paper guide to see how far these panels need to sit down from the chest so that it fits me, but you're going to need to do this on your armor so it fits you comfortably. Once I was satisfied with the length, I laced the tops of all six panels. These were then fed into all the lacing holes and adjusted accordingly. I decided to do individual laces rather than having the lace run through the chest and the panel consecutively. This way it was a lot easier to adjust the length until I got it just right. This same process was also applied to the back of the armor. And by this time my fingertips were hurting so I switched over to some small pliers to help me out. Any of this excess lacing that isn't needed can be trimmed away and glued down. I then strapped all the armor to a mannequin and it was awesome because this was the first time I got to see all of the armor pieces together. So you all can see the steps that I took to put together the Kozazuri or waist armor for my HD foam samurai armor set. And at this point, I've only got a few more pieces to make until I call this guy complete. I've got the forearm armor and the shin armor. Now, of course, there are other pieces that you could add to it, but I feel that I've pretty much got you all the way to the finish line. And if there's anything else you wanna to add to your version, feel free to do that. And if you are building any of my builds or utilizing some HD foam, be sure to tag me at SKS Props on Twitter and Instagram because I want to see your creations. Until next time, build your best with the best. HD foam.